Hola. Thank you for clicking. Hey, what are y'all excited for? For OPO8? Leaders, the style of meta, yada yada. But more so leaders. Because um, I am going to try to play King. King or Marco. I, I think Marco's fun. But I also think King is fun. But low key, I like all the leaders, I guess. But then again, you know, I kind of just like the game in general. I try to figure things out. But I don't know. Correct me if I'm wrong. Is 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 like OPO eight the one set that is like unless I'm forgetting somebody. Is like the none of the leaders in the set are are dominant or something. I could be wrong. I could be honestly wrong. Because I have like. Like I mildly keep up with what's happening in Japan. So yeah. I don't know. It doesn't seem like certain leaders are very effective. But I could be wrong. Like I said I mildly mildly keep up. But it just seems like Luchi and Law. Or maybe it was because of Luchi and Law. Or Law I should say. That, that, that that's why we didn't really hear other people making some noise but with all that being said it feels like the first set where one of the leaders didn't just take over and dominate and then just created like a new king of the hill what, what are we going on oh this album match is interesting as uh our deck tries to ko and we got the luffy to trash so luffy is just a direct counter just a direct counter to Sabo's ability. That's interesting. You know what I'm afraid of when it comes to black? Is they're getting... The support level that they're getting is a little too weird. Like they started out super weak. And now it's between... The meta is like between them and yellow. Right? Like it's, it's just dominantly those two colors. But... I mean, then again, it was red purple for a second. But anyway, what I'm trying to say is they get KOs. KO, right? Then you had um, anti KOing, I guess, right? Can't be KO'd. Just to come up with the trash mechanic. You know, oh, trashing is not the same as KOing, so therefore. And I'm like, why? So. Within its own color, it has a counter within its own color. And then now they adjust their own cost, making it higher, which counters is just another counter mechanic to their own color. And I'm like, what is going on here? Essentially, we can. If if Bandai doesn't ba balance this game properly, we can legitly have just a black meta. Because they're the ones getting the answers to themselves. You get what I'm saying? <laughs> so it's kind of weird. I feel like there could literally be a meta where no color, um, where no color has a, an actual option. Because black is doing everything, and the only way to fight against black is with black, right? Fight fire with fire. That's, that's the vibe I'm getting. Yeah, let's let's push that Borsalino off the board. And he's at three life, so there might be a Sabo block. Yeah, I would you gotta pick Borsalino first. Because he's just gonna use it immediately if you don't pick him. There you go. And then so he's at three life. That's a 7k swing. There's actually a chance. He put, he's going to use that Sabo. Okay, so he counters out because he has the perfect match. Oh, trying to bait the Sabo into blocking. Maybe? No. Go after life. Lose the Moria. See, you see the display, which you just saw. Literally, what you just saw is, is how I feel Bandai wanted this deck to run it just came out with like not enough resources because you can ask yourself 
what the heck does black and red do? Well, red's supposed to have like Don management in their own way, right? Um, pretty nutty build you got there. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of funny. So, what do you call it? Uh, yeah, red is all about attacking. The leader dons up, but the leader affects cost. So it's like, okay, I can use, I can play red to attach Dawn to benefit off of the when attacking effects, yada, yada, or use cards like Nami who can move rest at Dawn and get my leader ability. Then use the supportive cards of black to catch some KOs. I think that's where they were going, but the meta just wasn't healthy enough for that. So now it's like the fact that we got a couple of black cards that get their abilities when attacking it's like they're made for garp it's like they they're perfect for garp so like you look at brooke and you look at this luffy just taking things off the board just because just it's just this is this is what they wanted but we were supposed to use red attackers in my opinion Based on the timeline of uh, this deck coming out, we were supposed to just use red attackers. Hmm. That's interesting. Oh, okay. We didn't have a way to... No, I don't know. I don't know what just happened there. We got rid of the Moria, but we didn't get rid of the Sabo. I mean, we didn't try to get rid of the Borsalino. Allow him to actually use the Borsal, you know, so maybe that was a misplay. Could have touched the Dawn, lowered Borsalino, swung with Luffy, get get that off the board. Then swing with the next Luffy, get that Borsalino off the board. Okay, in this mechanic, we get the Sabo off the board. And obviously, he's not saving that Borsalino. Dag, he can't keep a board. And if he can't get rid of the Luffys, which now he should be able to... But, you know, if he doesn't get rid of the Luffy, just completely bypassing his leader ability. This is nuts. Now, I'll be honest with you. Uh, is that is that Karasu? Whatever. That's deadly. That is dead to the Lee. Sad part is we got Moria's in our hand. We got Moria's. But anyway... So yeah, if Black sees more characters that benefit off of attacking, um, I wanted, me personally, I wanted to make Cavendish work, but obviously Luffy's way better compared to Cavendish. This Cavendish gets the luxury of attacking. There's a, there's a Cavendish black card that um, you can Don X him, you can attack an active character, and um, you can KO a character with the cost of one or less. But the other aspect of this is that um, you have to rest your leader and mill two cards. So, yeah, Luffy is just the, the superior when attacking black card. What just happened? We misplayed. We tried to get the KO and it just didn't work. Oh, he was able to protect it. Right? That's most likely what happened. I mean, it's late game. It seems like we're close to closing the game out. Maybe we could have took that attack. But looking at yeah, look at the circumstances. It still works out for us. He got two characters on the board. We can attack one, but all in all, we got a we got a Moria in our hand. We got to figure something out. We don't really got defense. So basically, what I'm saying is, it probably was good that we protected that life. Now that I'm looking at it, because being at one, it then he would put him in a position where he has to go for game, and yeah, at least we can just go straight for like a border moving play instead of um. Having to try to get a blocker.
he had three attacks with one life. So if we would have one blocker, one life, and they have three attacks, yeah, they could push for game. So yeah, that worked. That worked out for the best. Now we got black and yellow, black and yellow. This deck is nuts, I say. Nuts. Played against them a few times. It's just the shenanigans. What I find funny is that when having Dolph Flamingo in that matchup back in like a set ago or whatever, man, it was just heaven. It was just, we just win because we can just force feed ourselves gravity tigers and just keep bottom decking too and just messing their day up. It was just such a cheap win. And then forcing bodies on the board and you know how, you know, when it comes to Doflamingo, people attack the characters. Of course they would. So your life is high enough towards the late game and it allows you to really like big drop or do whatever you want. So it's like now we could Gravity Tiger and use Dolphy's effect. Well, it's kind of funny. We played a Sabo who protected the characters. And then we played against a deck that abuses the Sabo that protects the characters. So let's see if um, Zombie Luffy gets his time to shine again. He's most likely playing the Kuzan for the draw. I wonder, imagine if he's playing the Kuzan literally only because it draws, but I can't see a person playing Kuzan and not something to combo with it. I mean, we got many ways to take it off the board. Like, we can rob Luchi if we wanted to, or we can um, use Brook. And since we got a Moria in our hand, you know, one can argue that just dropping the Rob Lucci would be fine. And if it gets taken off the board, uh, we could just Moria the Rob Lucci back. And that's funny. Well, it looks like we're going to develop Borsalino. Save resources. Okay, Luffy's about to start the shenanigans. That last attack was, he was, I mean, he has to counter out of it, you know, like, it, he picked Sabo to help set up his play, is what I'm trying to say. You know how I know I'm getting old? Well, one, that was quick. And two, it's like I can't remember the leaders that was, uh, coming out in OPO8. I'll be like, that every time I feel like uh, I try to instantly remember all the leaders in the next set, I just can't. I just can't. If somebody walked up to me on the street and said, for $20, can you name all the leaders in OPO8? I'll be like, uh, uh, well, uh, uh. It don't matter what set. That's just what happens. To me, that is. This Luffy player's hand must be terrible or something. Yeah, that's the only way I see it. Hand must be terrible. Okay. We don't swing. He would have defended it. That's the thing. Because he's not. He There's no way he's going to want Salvo to go to the um, bottom of the deck. But then again. Okay. Maybe. He got rid of a Moria. What. Is going on. Maybe he has a bunch of them in his hand. But even so. Right now you about to juice your leader. His rhythm might be off, and that's probably why. Like, see, then he has this. Okay, yeah, yeah, nah, 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 nah. You... Oh my god. Okay, whatever. He's throwing. He's throwing. I don't want to hear it. Okay, 
I'm like, I'm sure the debate is whether to block or something, because it's like, respectfully, you're not countering out of that. Now, this is the annoying part. We got to deal with Sabo's board protection. And since we don't got zombie Luffy, we can't get past it. Dag, and anything with developers, like, virtually a waste. No Sabo? Dag. This Luffy player confuses me. Aren't you supposed to just block with a Sabo so you could just do shenanigans again? I don't understand why he did that. I don't get it. I don't get it. Well, this is the, the frustration to tell you that. He's pumped up again. He gets another Sabo. The entire board is protected. But that's three Sabos on the board. And hopefully he doesn't have another play. He checked. Mind you, he, discard, he discarded his Moria's. Like, keep that in mind. You know how bad of a position we'll be in right now? I'm going to keep it a buck with you. I'm going to keep it a buck with you. You know how bad of a position we'll be in right now? If those Moria's were still in his hand. If he actually was using Sabo to block instead of countering out with all those cards. He probably would have five or more cards in his hand right now. If he was just blocking with a Sabo instead of countering out. Like his board would literally just have one less character. That's it. Ooh, we get another blocker. I would gladly take out the brand new. Oh, no, 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 the Suru. My bad. Brand new at least got some attack. Now, hopefully we have enough counter power and blockers to get ourselves out. Well, we got two 2Ks. I don't know if Brick got counter power, but we got two 2Ks and three blockers. So essentially, the moment he has a weak swing, we can, uh, what do you call it? We can just counter out of it. You know, the funny part is, if we block it, we bait him into swinging with um, his Sabo. See, yeah, counter out of it, counter out out of it to play it safe. But his he's exposed. He has no hand. They're like everything is visible, so you can. Yeah, oh, we're going to block. We can actually block and potentially encourage him to swing. He has two more swings. Oh, this is a tough one. Cause he got the two sabos. And he has about five down up. Oh, is that what happens? If that down was split. See, we have to block, of course. Okay, and he doesn't want to take the chance. But wait, nothing's protected. Oh, that's a sad story. Oh my god. That no, this is the Luffy player's game. This was Luffy's game. This was Luffy's game, but he didn't know how to play. No disrespect to the person. But like, yo. <laughs> yo. <laughs> you know how extremely different this would have been? Well, a G a G. Thank you for watching. Sub. Because we will be getting some other leaders. We just got all the garp out the way.